In this video, I will share settings to get your exported videos to look the same as in DaVinci Resolve. What am I talking about? Well, this is the sample of exports without using those settings in different viewers. As you can see, QuickTime and YouTube Picture has different color and contrast than what we see in DaVinci Resolve and VLC. This, however, is an example using the settings I will tell you about in a minute. And as you can see, all those examples look pretty much the same. All right, let's start. Hey everyone, my name is Marz Gajic. I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Poland. And together with my girlfriend Martina, we run a company called Stick Visuals, where we produce photo and video content for our clients. A few years back, I've been struggling with washed out colors after exporting from Premiere Pro, so I found a way to get it fixed somehow and made a video about it. It wasn't perfect as it was matching the colors from Premiere Pro Expert to QuickTime and YouTube, but in VLC it was a little bit oversaturated. It however worked for many people, especially those who mainly export for YouTube, and it's one of my most viewed videos right now with over 55k views and counting. Lately I've noticed a similar situation in DaVinci Resolve when editing and exporting my videos from my MacBook Pro and iMac and posting them to YouTube. found a way on how to get it sorted so our video matches pretty much anywhere and I've seen many videos with many different ways on how to fix it but none of them worked for me the way I wanted or as good as the one I will show you now. Is this solution perfect? I don't know but it does seem like it's the best one out there. All right, no more talking. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and do it. We're gonna start with changing the DaVinci Resolve preferences. So we're gonna go into DaVinci Resolve preferences and we're gonna go in general and we want it to look like this. So we wanna check use 10-bit precision in viewers if available. We want to uncheck use map display color profiles for viewers and we want to uncheck the automatically tag rec 709 scene clips as rec 709a and uh, the rest it doesn't really matter when it comes to the colors we just want to make sure that our top four looks the same as i have it here or actually even top three we're gonna hit save and if you change any of those settings, you're gonna have to restart your DaVinci Resolve for it to take effect. So do it if you need to do it. The second thing we need to do is to change the settings of our project. So we're gonna go into project uh, settings and we're gonna go into color management and that's the one we're gonna be changing. Well. I'm gonna show you how I have it and you don't probably need to even change it because it works with any of them. It should work with any of them. But I use DaVinci YRGB with color management, uh, with automatic color management in SDR and with SDR Rec 709. That's what I'm gonna be using, but you can choose any of those that you can see here and it should work the same. So now we're just gonna save it. And move on to our export settings, which is, in my opinion, one of the most important settings for it to work. And what we wanna do here, uh, like most of those settings don't even matter, but what matters is color space tag and gamma tag. And we want to change, like you see, the color space tag to p3 dci because that's what the mac uh, displays use and we want to tag our gamma to srgb and this is basically what is going to help us to have our export look the same as 
when we look at it in DaVinci Resolve. And this way all our settings should be right. As you can see, this way does work. I'm not sure if it will work on any other computers than Apple Macs, but it should depending on what color gamut your monitor is going to be using. So you're gonna have to experiment there a little bit. Let me know in the comments if you've been struggling with it and if this method will work for you and if it will help you. And also let me know what other videos about DaVinci Resolve would you like to see next. If you found this video useful, please leave it a like, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified about future content like this. You can also share it as I believe it might be useful for many more DaVinci Resolve users. I would also love if you check out my Instagram, I try to post their similar content daily, so it's a great place to see what I'm working on next and chat about anything. I think this is it for this video, I hope you liked it and I hope I'll see you in the next one, bye.